Today our goal is to be able to write the equation of a line when given the graph of the line. Let's recall what slope-intercept form and standard form look like. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b are not both zero. Also, they are not fractions. So we're not going to have any denominators in standard form. Let's look at some examples. Write the equation of each line in slope-intercept form. When we see that, let's write y equals mx plus b. Then rewrite, write again, it into standard form, ax plus by equals c. If we're going to write it into slope-intercept form, the two things we need are b, the y-intercept, and m, the slope. So let's look at number one. Given this graph, we're going to start by finding the y-intercept. That is b. So we're going to look at the y-axis, and we're going to find where the graph crosses the y-axis, negative 1. 0, negative 1 is the y-intercept, so b equals negative 1. Now we can count to find the slope. Slope is the m in our equation. So I want to find another point on the line where the two grid lines cross. So this line crosses at this point also. I could have gone also to here, but this one's closer. Now one thing to notice is our line is going up. So that means the slope will be positive. That's important. Slope is positive because our line is going up. From left to right, we count up 1 and over 2. So positive 1 half, 1 over 2. Now we can write the equation of our line in slope-intercept form. y equals m is the slope, and our m is 1 half. And then x is part of our equation, plus b is the y-intercept, our b is negative 1. Now, that is correct, but why write plus a negative when we could just write minus 1? So here is our answer in slope-intercept form. Now we will rewrite it into standard form. Notice standard form has both the x and the y on the same side, and a number all by itself on the other side. Also remember that we do not have fractions. And notice what I see here, I have a fraction. So either we can get rid of the fraction first or move the x and y onto the same side. Let's go ahead and move the x and y onto the same side so that we remember to do that step. We'll draw a line at the equal sign and I see x is positive half x, so I'm going to say minus a half x on both sides of my equation, and that gives me negative a half x plus y equals, those cross out, negative 1 is left. Now I don't want a fraction, so I need to multiply what's in the de by what's in the denominator. So I'm going to see the denominator has a 2. I'd also like to not have a negative number leading the equation. So let's say times negative 2. What's in the denominator is 2. Also over here, times negative 2. So that makes negative 2 times negative 1 half x, and we distribute this. So plus negative 2 times y and negative 2 times negative 1. Notice negative 2 times negative a half, I have positive 1x left, minus 2y equals positive 2. I have x and y on the same side, I have no fractions, this is the standard form equation. Why don't you pause the video, try number two on your own, and come back and see how you did.
Let's begin by finding the y-intercept. Here's the y-axis. I see the graph crosses at positive 2, 0, 2. Our b is 2. Now we can count the slope. The slope from this point to, here's another point, where it crosses the grid lines. Now first notice, this line is going down. So down means the slope is negative. So the slope will be negative. So from this point on the left, going left to right, we count down two and then over three. So negative two thirds, negative because we went down. So m is negative two thirds. Let's write down our slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and let's fill in for the m and the b. The m is negative two thirds, and the b is positive two. So there is our equation, y equals negative two thirds x plus two. This is our slope intercept form of the equation of our line. Now we change it into standard form. Draw a line at the equals and move the x onto the y side. Add 2 thirds x. Those go away and we end up with 2 thirds x plus y equals positive 2. The x is canceled out. They're inverses. Now we don't want divided by 3, so we're going to multiply both sides by that denominator of 3. Distribute the 3, and we write 3 times 2 thirds x plus 3 times y equals 3 times 2. 3 gets multiplied to every part. The 3's from here cancel out, and we have 2x plus 3y equals 6. And there is the equation of our standard in standard form. The x's and y's are on the same side, and I have no fractions. Take a couple minutes to write a summary. Using your own words, describe how to write an equation given the graph of the line. See you in class.